Okay, I am live. All right. Except my face is glowing. <laughs> Darn it. It's not a good look. Okay, I am live. Let's see here. Turn on some chatting. I'm a puppy. Woof, woof. Hi, Tammy. I have Cinder and Tova here. Hi, Edie. Edie, right? Am I saying that right? Hi, Kevin. So it is a little chillier here than I thought it was going to be. And so little Cinder is cold. My hands are freezing. Um, Come on, Edie. <laughs> but we wanted to be able to show you Cinder. Here, you want me to take her? Here, let me take her. <laughs> let me take her. <laughs> We wanted to be able to show you Cinder and give you a little update on her. She's doing absolutely fabulous. Hi, Tara. Hi, Brooke. Hi, Anne. Hi, everybody. What, what do you want to say? I completed a stable mate today. Oh, she completed a stable mate today. You I did. I painted it real. Like, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe you could, um, like, uh, show it if you take a picture. I'll, I'll take a picture of it later and I'll mm -hmm. post it. Yeah. What color is it? It's kind of like brown, and there's kind of like an orangish brown mane. Do you know what that's called? Do you remember? No. Flaxen. Flaxen. Yeah, it has flaxen mane and tail. She did a very nice job. It was one that she had already painted. And yeah, it was she... rainbow, and I didn't. It was just... <laughs> she wanted it to be realistic, so she painted it new. So, mm -hmm. all right. And my grandma bought, ordered us two things to do online. Yep, you got two new ones. And it's going to be here on March 31st. Yay! Awesome. Tara says she's drawing the herd. She's drawing, um, you know those drawings she's been doing? Mm -hmm. She's drawing the whole herd. At it's once. awesome, Tara. Thank you. Um, hi, Michaela. How's it going? Um, oh, good, Tara. That fall photo one, I absolutely love that one. It's my favorite photo. So if you don't have the entire one, let me know and I'll send it to you. Hello, Sweden. Welcome. Thank you. Oh, little Cinder, she's just rattling. Hey, I'm going to talk about something real quick. So hold off on any questions. I feel the need to, um, to discuss this really quick. And um, I had a... I had a... Hi, Cinder. I, <laughs> yeah. I had a... Um, Good afternoon. Okay, now don't say anything yet. I had a viewer comment on Cinder's video and basically um, tell me that I made a very bad choice by not adopting a dog from a shelter and by, by buying this dog. So she didn't come from a pet store or anything like that. And if you've seen the video, you understand where she came from and all that and how like I saw this dog and she was just meant to be mine. And I've waited eight years to get this dog. Hi, Susie. Um, and I, I, I wasn't looking for a dog. She just kind of showed up and that's kind of how it works with my animals. And so anyway, but I wanted to say something because this gal kind of, um, she, she was very harsh, I guess, in what she said, and kind of hurt my feelings, to be honest, because it was kind of rude, um, and she was brash and all that good stuff. But I just wanted to say that, you know, she did have good points, and I, I don't want anybody to think that just because, like, okay, so I got this dog, and she's, she's a mutt, okay? She, Stella, get out of there. Get out of there. And then there's the registered purebred dog back there eating poop out of the sled. Yuck. Um, but anyway, so I don't want to, I don't want anybody to think that I am telling you in any which way, shape or form that if you have a Yorkie, an, a Yorkie and a Pomeranian that you should breed it. I don't think that people, <laughs> I don't think that people should just randomly breed their dogs. Okay. I'm not for backyard breeders or anything like that. Please don't, um, please don't think that that's what I am telling you to do. So please have your pets spayed and neutered. So after my conversation with this gal, I, I said that I was going to go Bob Barker in my videos and um, request that people, you know, or encourage people to spay and neuter your pets. Don't just randomly breed dogs to create these designer dogs. This is not a designer dog. She is a mutt, okay? So, um, but I, I do want to say, yes, the pet population is a big deal. People should be out... Um, doing the best that they can to try to control that and all that good stuff. So anyway, after a conversation with this, with this gal back and forth on that video, that's what I am, that is my conclusion from it. And that's what I'm saying. But, um, it got to be a little bit, 
it got to be a little bit too much, okay? Um, you want to be in the video too? Okay, so now, yes, Mary, I gave her a good home, and that's really all that matters to me, but this gal said that, you know, since I have so many followers that I shouldn't be encouraging people to go out and buy um, mutts from people that are breeding mutts, basically, and it was just kind of rude. But anyway, hi, Bass Brat, how are you today? And Tova, he's saying hi to you too. Hi. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna start up with um, Michaela. I miss you coming to the barn too. We all miss we all miss you guys. So um, I think My I'm gonna face go. Is I'll, being covered with messages. I know that's okay, but you know what? We won't be able to see that later, and people that watch it later can't see that either. Actually, people that are watching it now can't see it. So um, no, I have not ridden today, and I'd really like to do that. So. Um, <laughs> she's so cute and she's just so content to be everywhere so miss kitty's doing good she's in that stall right there i think she might be out eating her grain but um <laughs> hello oklahoma um yeah lori i i never did i didn't think i did either but oh my gosh it was it was really a it was quite the message so go to um if you want to read it Go, thank you, Bass Brat. That's awesome. I just got five bucks. That's really sweet. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you want to see what, what, what the conversation was about, um, you can go and read it in Cinder's video that I posted. Very interesting. So, hi, Australia. Welcome. Thank you. I think this puppy was a great decision, too. She has just brought so much joy to our lives. Oh my gosh, I just adore her. She's the sweetest thing ever. And you know, she, she's so, um, she's just a really good girl. I absolutely adore her. So she is so cute. So cute. She, um, whenever I blow on her, she'll blink her eyes. And whenever I go like, <laughs> well, she'll watch. go like. You blinked when I blew on you. <laughs> Try it again. <laughs> you can't help it. <laughs> Try it again. Uh, okay, sorry. Um, I am going to, Michaela, you just asked if I'm doing a live tomorrow. I am going to try to do a live every single day um, at 3 o'clock. I'm going to try to do 3 o'clock. So, but the best thing you can do, don't, don't, don't toss her around like that. The best thing you can do is turn your notifications on so you get notified when my video is coming. So, I'm going to try to do it every single day for you guys. Plus, I'm going to continue to edit all the videos that I've already taken that I need to get out to you. So there's gonna be some days that you might get two. So I hope you don't get bored with me. <laughs> but um, but yeah, it gives me something to do and look forward to. So I might as well. Stella, no. no okay. No, no, um, no, no, no. um. Are you a little positive? Let's little see positive? here. I'm trying to I'm trying to read. It goes back to this whole like I need glasses thing. Yeah, Stella is being a pain in the butt right now. She's um. Yes, all my lessons are canceled until further notice. So I apologize. It's, I mean, I, there's nothing I can do about it. So it was, and um, state rules, so. I have the wheelie chair, you know. Yeah, Tova's on my, on my um, barrier stand, my stool, my little wheelie stool. It's easier for me. Hi, Abby. It's easier for me to sit. Yeah, you can wheel around. Wheelie. So, but yeah, what Stella's doing is she's just, she's, She's kind of neurotic like that. She's trying to see Miss Kitty. Miss Kitty's in there eating her, eating her grain. Oh, Susie, it's just terrible. It drives me nuts. So, um, what do I think about using side reins to build a top line in the back? Absolutely not. Side reins are a gimmick. It goes back to my conversation yesterday about draw reins. Draw reins are a gimmick. I believe that building a horse's top line is you do exercise using your soft hands and encouraging a horse to live at its back that way. I never use side reins. I never use draw reins. I don't believe in them. Squirmy. Squirmy, squirmy. Uh, um, yeah, she might be getting cold. You need to go somewhere. So, or in your jacket's fine, but, or take her for a walk, but let's not let this drag through, sorry. Um, let's not let this drag through any poop, though. Where's the end of it? Don't know, I'm sitting on it. <laughs> You're sitting on it. <laughs> oh wait, no, it's stuck, sorry. <laughs> Here, there you go. Um, Okay, I can't bend down like that anymore. So the kids and I, the kids and I, um, I'll try to get Tova in it too. No, that doesn't work. So the kids and I, this morning, we decided to come up with an exercise routine. 
Hold on, C Rush, one second, okay? And I'll, I'll answer your question. You gotta ask it again in a minute. Um, so the kids and I earlier today, we decided to start our little exercise program. So what kind of what kind of exercises did we do today? We did candlestick, we did She's poop on top of her head. <laughs> of course poop. We did teddy bear stands, we did straddles, we did butterfly, we did squats. Yeah, what else? We did We did heel downs. Yep. We worked on all kinds of things to help with our riding. And we also, um, we ran up and down the stairs a lot. We did jumping jacks, we did sit-ups, we did, yeah, two flights of stairs, we ran up and down 10, ten times. times. <laughs> and we did weightlifting, don't do that, um, sit-ups. We did all kinds of stuff. So I gotta tell you, so I'm, I'm a fan of, I firmly believe that if you have a goal and if you tell other people, you've got more of a chance of reaching that goal so um, I'm gonna tell you my goal and this is gonna hold me to it you guys are gonna hold me to this and I'm gonna do it so I turned 40 in July and my goal with the puppy in it you can put you can put her in the jacket my goal hi Ann see you later um, no my goal is to be the most fit I've ever been by the time I turn 40. So I got some time, but I'm gonna do that. It's for the, um, it's the best I can do for my riding, my horses, my kids. I want Tova and I to be able to run some 5Ks together and go mountain What's biking. 5K, 5K is, a, is a run, it's like uh, three miles. But, oh, shoot. <laughs> she's a really good runner and, um, on my horse? No, on foot. On oh, foot. Yeah, on foot. And we want to be able to go mountain biking and do all kinds of really cool stuff. So, yeah, that's my goal. Fit, fit at 40. I'm going to be as fit as I possibly, uh, the most fit I've ever been by the time you I turn 40. You and me are going mountain biking. We are. So, okay, so moving on. But yes, it's important because I've got a lot of horses. I got Manzer that I got to get, you know, started and I, I have horses to work with that are young and so I got to be as fit as I possibly can to do all that stuff. Hello Georgia. Um, How are you today? Oh, Base Brat, thank you. I, you know, actually no, I'm like the least fit right now that I've ever been in my life. So it's kind of a bummer. Um, but I'm going to change that. So it's totally cool. Um, Debbie wants to know if you like having a new puppy, Tova. Huh? Yes. Okay means yes yes Kevin it's always good out, good to go out and get some exercise I'm gonna try not to move this around too much while I'm putting my gloves on but it's getting chilly it's colder I need to get out in the sun so hello animal I'm, tested I'm love approved <laughs> thanks for joining dogs. in I'm the god of okay dogs. Tova she's cold I'd like you to take her to the house okay I'm gonna head out and then what do I do with this? you can um you can go put her in her kennel and you can meet me in the pasture just bring a flag with you okay all right, guys, do you want to go out into the pasture and see the horses? Should we do that? Yes? Cool? Okay. Um, you did a lot of groundwork yesterday. Good for you, Tammy. So, okay, um, I'm going to try. You know, somebody mentioned that I could slow down the chat. So, hold on one second. Let's see if I can slow this down. Um, Hmm. I don't see how I can do that. Sorry, guys. I don't know how to how to change it so it slows down, but it goes so fast. So we're gonna go out to the pasture and we're gonna go get set up on a hay bale. I'm gonna leave a flag here. Um. Somebody asked if I got a video. Um. I don't know if I did or not. I'll have a look. So guys, let me tell you this. So my email is linked down below. If anybody has like um, um, anything that you needed to send me or you can check me out on Facebook, Instagram. Um, and I, I welcome emails too, but just know that I totally stink 
at responding to stuff. Yes, Tara, I'll take you out and show you cinnamon. Oh, this is so nice in the sun. It's just gorgeous. Oh, uh. so anyway, with my emails and stuff, be patient with me. If you don't hear from me and you've sent me an email or a message or something, send me another one if it's been, you know, a couple days because there's a good chance that I, you know, may have looked at it part way and then I got distracted by a puppy or a kid or something and all of a sudden, you know, I have a lot of squirrel moments. So please, um, Lynn, yes, I, no, I didn't see you. Did I see your email? No, I didn't. But I, I'll check it later. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so, but just know that if you send me an email, like I, I promise I'll do my best to look at it. And But if you don't hear from me, please send me another one. Thank you, Lisa. That's awesome. I'm so glad you learned so much from my channel. I appreciate that. Kevin, it's in the description. But please, you know, email me if you've got like something, um, um, you know, uh, a question that you want me to cover on my channel or something, you know, important to go over, please don't send me any random spammy stuff, okay? Please don't send me pictures of like random stuff. Um, please make sure it's quality email that you genuinely need help with something on and I'll um, share it on my channel. Hey, Bodie. We got Bodie and Tova here now. Okay, so we're going to go take a walk out to the pasture and... Um, sun is bright, so you guys just be aware because I'm gonna have a hard time being. Oh, now I gotta work this gate again with one hand. Darn it. Okay, so now, um, Toba, you're gonna have to go first with the flag. Since you have snacks, the horses are gonna want to be by. You know what? You guys might not be able to come with. Come on. Okay, then you're gonna need to finish your snack or put it in your pocket. Okay? Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right. How do I open it? Put that in your pocket. Okay, we got two kids, dog, 16 horses, and we're gonna make our way out to a hay bell to sit down and chat. So this is a little bit of work. I wasn't planning on everybody coming. Dog's not coming. Okay, Bodie, run and get yourself a flag. Quick, quick. Why? You can't come with if you don't get a flag. <laughs> Lucy, thank you so much. That is awesome of you. $20, holy cow. Wow, I see that there's 32 there total. I'm sorry if I missed anybody else's that you brought it through. And I think there's somewhere where I can see who um, who super chats and I'll make sure to look at those um, so I can acknowledge you. That's really, really amazing of you guys to do that. I really appreciate it. I knew nothing about super chat until yesterday. Grab a whip. I didn't know anything about it until yesterday and um, super cool. So here's the thing is um, like these uh, these live videos, because people make money off their YouTube videos through AdSense. So whenever you see an ad play on a video, if you watch the ad, then um, some money goes to the content creator for that. So that's how YouTube creators make money. Um, but with this super chat thing, it makes it so you make more money off of a live video because live video, since there's no ads at play, um, I think I made like $2.47 off of the video I did two days ago. So, I mean, you don't make much off of live videos. So that's why the super chat is a thing. So that's kind of cool because it encourages people to do them. So I really appreciate it. I'm not saying by any means, I don't expect anybody to donate anything. That's definitely, Definitely not what I'm asking for at all. It's just that if you want to, um, then that's wonderful and I really appreciate it. And I will use every cent of it towards equipment to make better quality videos. So I really appreciate it. Okay, come on out guys. Bodie's got his... Mommy? Yep. What was one of the um, that wanted to donate something? Free for you. Oh yeah, I had somebody contact me about um, sponsorship, so that was super cool. Um, Mommy, why do we have to have these? Because I don't want you guys to get run over. Sorry, I'm pulling with this gate. Tove, go easy with the flag. I'm sorry here. It's really hard. I did not pick. Um, I did not pick appropriate. Mommy, I'll just sit still with you. We're gonna go. Up. Yep, you got to take that though. Okay, so. Um, why, mommy? Why? Okay, he's whining. Don't Look at 
Yes, you're whining, and I'm showing everybody that you're whining. Don't do that. Okay, so let's go out in the pasture. Come on, guys. Okay, um, slow down, Tove. Here's Cinnamon. Tara asked to see Cinnamon. There she is. Tara rides Cinnamon. I just got whacked in the face with a lunge whip. Um, what kind of jacket is the olive green one? Um, like the jacket that I wear? My car, it's a Carhartt? Is that what you're asking? <laughs> I've had it for like, I don't know, 15 years. I've never saw you wear that. Oh, I wear it all the time. Um, Miss Kitty is behind us. We'll catch her when we're at the end. Hi, Corey. So yes, Jessica, it is, um, it is, it is super warm. It's my favorite jacket. I love Carhartt. I think I might have it listed in the description below. Um, I'm not positive. Oh gosh. Thank you, Jessica. All right, I don't know what's going on here, but. Never has a seat belt. <laughs> yes. Okay. He's putting it back in. All right. Well, I apologize, guys, but today's video is going to be short because I'm already at. Um, 20% battery on my phone and this is not working for some reason. So I'm really sorry, but it's not going to be a very long one. So we're gonna try to answer as many questions as we can right now. And here's Manzer and Tova. Mommy, can you hold me? What? Um, no. Okay, to the round bale. Tova, I need you to be aware because Manzer is right behind you. There you go. Come on, buddy. In my um, yes, as soon as we stop. Yes, Manzer is so big. He's really getting to be such a big boy. We have... Why don't you guys go on the opposite one that I'm on? Why? Because I think that'll be easier. No. Um, no, thank you. Go climb up there with the minis. No. Yes. Yes. I'm coming with you. Vodka. I'm going to just stand here. I want you guys on the round bale though so you don't get hurt. Okay. So if anybody out there has small children and deals with um, as many horses as I do, it's like a circus everywhere we go. So between the dogs and the ponies and the kids and everything else, it's like, oh my gosh, we just got a lot going on. Okay. Pennsylvania, welcome. Thank you for joining in. You have a question. See, Rush, I am all yours. An ask your question and I will answer now that you have my full attention. I'm waiting. Hey, Manzer's mom is standing behind me. She's right there. <laughs> and here is Manzer. <laughs> He's like, hello. Hello, people of YouTube. Don't bite me. So this is where I have to be very, very aware of what's going on because he does not know boundaries yet. So I have to be very careful. So I do have a stick in my hand because if anybody starts fighting around me, I have to make sure that I can protect myself because stuff like that happens. They just, he doesn't know any better yet. So I have to make sure that I am blocking him at all times. So I can't allow any nonsense. Can I eat my fig bar now? You can eat your fig bar, yes. Kids having snacks while horses are having snacks. There's Daisy and Petra, and Rosie is back over here. Now, Rosie, last night, I was a little concerned about how, this is Rosie. If you're not familiar with Rosie, go to my playlist, and um, she has her own with all of, with all of her videos. We had a pretty scary situation with her last year, so if you haven't seen that, be sure to check it out. Um, but Rosie last night, gosh, she was, she was, um, walking funny. yeah, she was walking a little weird, like almost like maybe laminitis. I really hope not. But so I got to check her digital pulse. Um, your horse needs muscles. What exercise? Well, um, see rush. Um, I guess I, I don't really understand your question. Um, do they need top line muscles or are you just looking to build muscle in general? Um, Ravenstar, they are all very, very awesome to snuggle. I love snuggling my ponies. The, the little ones are, the best one to snuggle with in my herd is Bear, and he is right there, 
Right there, behind Nika. Yep. That's a goodbye. So, um, but see, Rush, to answer your question, um, if you're trying to build muscle tone in a horse, they just need exercise. They need um, good exercise where they're using their hind end. So learn how to do what's called a soft feel. Um, if you're unfamiliar with that, I'm going to send you to, here's, here's what I want you to check out. If you've not watched, if you're not familiar with Buck Branneman, check out his documentary. It's called Buck the Film. And it's a, it's a very good movie. It's a great documentary to watch. And um, anybody, um, I think anybody could really find enjoyment out of it, even non-horse people. But that's a good place to start, okay? And if you need, um, if you want something that you can watch at home, like a DVD series, Buck also has, has that. Another person that I really enjoy working with is Lee Smith. You can get a lot of really good education from her as well. So, and if you're looking for, yeah, if you're looking for a magazine where you can learn a lot of different really good quality exercises, check out Eclectic Horsemen, E-C-L-E-C-T-I-C, -E -C -C, Horsemen. It's the best magazine. It is the only magazine that I will buy. Um, yes, Manzer does still nurse. I haven't weaned them yet. I haven't really seen a reason to. So when I feel like um, the time is right, I will separate them, but he doesn't much anymore. But um, so anyway, I hope that helps. So be sure to uh, check out Eclectic Horsemen. They actually have a YouTube channel too. There's not a whole lot on it, but there's a few short videos with really great horsemen and horsewomen. So check that out. It's, it's good. Somebody asked me yesterday about which YouTube channels I like, and that's one. Um, yeah, see Rush, it, it really doesn't matter though what a horse's past is. Um, I, I don't look at what their past is. I look at how they, we, I work on how they are in that moment. And I don't use a horse's past to dictate how I'm gonna work with them. I just don't, so. Yes. Can I say something? What do you need to say? I'm sorry to do subject, but you know, Aunt Sally, remember that YouTube channel where these guys like ride bulls? Yeah, Bronx and Donks. My daughter's talking about the channel Bronx and Donks. If you haven't seen it, it's kind of fun. Can you show me? Um, yes, Sharon, he's been able to reach food on the ground since. Oh gosh, probably early September, I want to say. So the last few videos, if you go in his playlist, it has all of his videos and you can see them all in chronological order. And um, it shows like when he first started being able to, being able to eat off the ground. Hello and welcome. She's 61, I think is, is the name on there. I, I recognize you, I talk to you often on here, but um, anyway, thank you, welcome. Um, yeah, I did predict an early spring. Hmm. <laughs> I'm like the next groundhog, I guess. So I'm glad we're having a, well, so far it seems to be an early spring. Um, so we'll see what happens, but. Any Sally videos in the making? Absolutely. Um, and thanks for putting the asterisk in front of your comment because it really like stands out to me then. If you have a que question, that's a really good thing to do. Um, so Sally is, I have a bunch of videos from when Sally first got here and those are the ones I really wanted her to see because she really was severely like separation anxiety big time. So those will be really good ones to share. And kind of what I'm doing is like, I'm trying to focus on one horse at a time as far as getting the videos up. Because like Manzer, I'll be, re I'll be caught up on his videos pretty soon. So, you know, when people ask, um, people ask about why my stuff isn't current, um, it's because I, um, <laughs> it's because, I got a lot going on. But anyway, I wanna I wanna focus on one horse at a time and getting their playlist up to date and then move on to the next horse and the next horse and the next horse. So eventually you'll see a you'll see a video um, playlist on every single one of my horses. So there's a few on there right now, but there will be one on every single horse. So that'll be really fun. Okay, there was like 40 questions all at once and now there's nothing. So <laughs> Um, let's see, here comes, what can we look at? 
Miss Kitty is doing, um, Miss Kitty to make it to the winter. If you watch um, the previous couple days, live streams, you'll see quite a bit of footage of her and I talk about her quite a bit on there. I don't know that my camera is going to make it back to the barn to show you any of Miss Kitty today, but tomorrow I can make sure to show you. Oh, hey beautiful. Look at who came to say hi. This is Nakona. Yeah. Um, my barn is closed due to the coronavirus. Here's Manzer. Oh, thank you, Debbie. You're welcome. Thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoy my videos. It really means a lot to me when, uh, when I know that people are enjoying them. So, oh, Manzer, he's such a stinker. I can't wait to start working with this little dude. He needs it. Okay, so, um, right now we have, um, like with Manzer, since he's not really halter broke yet, um, I'm going to try to be here, Sharon, I'm going to try to be here at 3 o'clock every day, Eastern Standard Time. Um, I'm going to try. I'm going to do my best. So just know that somewhere in the area I'll be on. And if you turn on your notifications, if you're a subscriber and you've turned on your notifications, you'll get a, a, a notification that I'm on there. Um, but, hey, Bodhi, no, 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 no. I need you to stay up there, okay? He's loving on his pony. You guys got to see this. It's so cute. Little Rosie. Where's Milo? Where's Milo? <laughs> um, so, but my, I'm anxious to get Manzer videos of that. But um, um, my arena door is frozen shut right now, the back door. And that's the way I want to bring him up because there's, there's fencing around it. I don't really want to lead him out in the open yet. It just doesn't, I'm not comfortable with that just in case he should get away from me. So, um, but I'm excited to start working with Manzer. I'm going to be doing a ton with him. Oh. Guys, I got 10% battery left. So that's how long I'll be able to go yet is whatever 10% will give me. Here's some some Petra and cinnamon cuteness with Tova. I get cinnamon. Bye, Corey. Thanks for joining in. <laughs> oh, they're loving all the attention. Tara, the horses miss you. See, that's the thing is, so people ask about my horses and how often they get ridden and stuff like that. And I have a lot of people ask me if I just need anybody to come and exercise horses. And the answer 